Hello everybody, I am Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and today in this video we are going to talk about Canadian citizenship. Trust me, there are some mind-blowing benefits of having the Canadian citizenship and we are going to discuss all of that. I know a lot of my viewers have the PR and they might be thinking if they should actually apply for the citizenship or not. Even I was not able to decide so I actually made a couple of videos about it. So I will discuss my personal situation if I did actually apply for the citizenship or not. And then of course we'll discuss all the different benefits of having the Canadian citizenship. So this video is going to be very interesting. Stay tuned. Just a couple of months from now, I would be completing five years in Canada as a permanent resident, which means that maybe in 2020, I was actually eligible for applying the Canadian citizenship. But of course, this was a personal choice. I actually made a couple of videos around this topic. I'm pretty sure that some of you would remember those videos. But finally, long story short, I have now applied for the citizenship. Actually, I applied for it in the month of March. I received the AOR and now I'm waiting for the citizenship, at least for the next steps, because I know that wait is going to be pretty long. The processing times are around two years. So maybe I'm just hoping that at least by the end of next year, I would get the citizenship. So that was my personal update regarding the citizenship. But of course, we're going to talk about the massive mind-blowing benefits of having the Canadian citizenship. Okay, as before I proceed and talk about the benefits of having the Canadian citizenship, I want to tell you that if you hold the Indian citizenship, then you would need to give up your Indian citizenship in order to uh, get the Canadian passport because India does not offer dual citizenship. So hypothetically, if you are in that situation, if you have the chance, of getting the Canadian citizenship, would you actually grab that or would you let it go? Would you just hold on to your uh, permanent residency status and have the Indian passport instead? Let me know in the comment section below. So let's start with the first one, of course, which should be and which is probably the most important one for me, strength of the passport because it is obviously one of the most powerful passports around the world. If you love traveling, then probably one of the most annoying things to travel around the world is to apply the visa, fill out all those forms, go to embassies, VFS offices. But having the Canadian passport, you can actually travel to 185 countries around the world visa free or visa on arrival. Okay, let me tell you my plan when I have that power in my hand, hopefully pretty soon. So whenever we go to India, hopefully at least every year or once in two years, we're definitely gonna visit maybe Middle East or maybe, uh, you know, European countries because of course it is just midway and it totally makes sense if you just break your journey there. It won't cost you too much. You can enjoy different countries and of course you don't have to apply for any visa. Okay, now let's talk about the second benefit. Even if you don't like traveling too much, you're gonna love this one. Once you become the Canadian citizen, you don't have to maintain your citizenship status unlike the permanent residency. So even if you're not aware, let me quickly tell you that, let's say I am the permanent resident. In order for me to maintain the PR status in Canada, I have to be physically present in Canada for at least two years out of last five years. But if you have the Canadian citizenship, then you don't have to worry about it at all because wherever you live in the world, you will not lose your Canadian citizenship status. Also, in a few months time, when I complete five years in Canada, then my PR card would be expiring and I would need to renew it. But when I have the Canadian passport, then I would need to renew that every 10 years. And also, let's say somebody is a permanent resident, if he or she does some serious crime, they still might be deported to their home country, to the country of their citizenship. Uh, but if you hold the Canadian passport, you would not be deported because now, you are citizen of Canada, so there's no chance that you would be deported to any other country. Okay, now talking about the next benefit, being eligible to apply for many more jobs. Now, even while you are a permanent resident, you can apply for all the different jobs, but there are certain jobs that require that you should be a Canadian citizen. For example, some jobs in military. So if you want to go into the military, maybe you would need to have a Canadian passport. Similarly, some intelligence jobs, you need a Canadian passport and a security clearance in order to get into any intelligence shops, just like raw in India. 
and not just those jobs which are related with the security of the country some other jobs like jobs in the airline industry so let's say if you want to work as a pilot or maybe as cabin crew with Air Canada then the basic eligibility criteria is that you should have a Canadian passport even with permanent residency you can get some of the jobs but for many job requirements where they require frequent international travel they would want you to have Canadian passport okay now next one is your voting rights so once you have the Canadian passport once you're a citizen of Canada you do have the right to vote so in the past five years as a permanent resident I haven't been able to vote uh, in any of the elections but when once I become the Canadian citizen I would be able to do that and also if you're interested you can run for elections as well so if you're interested in politics if you want to become a political leader in order to run for any election to compete in any election you need to have the Canadian passport so with that document you do get both the voting rights and right to compete or stand in any elections Okay, now talking about the fifth benefit, which is the capability to have dual citizenship. Now with the Canadian passport, you can actually have the citizenship of Canada, of course, and of one another country. But of course, it depends if the other country that we're talking about also offers dual citizenship or not. For example, India does not offer dual citizenship. I really wish that if they were offering the dual citizenship i would have never ever quit the uh, indian citizenship but of course in order for me to get the canadian citizenship i would need to quit indian citizenship and then become the citizen of canada but just in case let's say if you are a citizen of pakistan they do offer dual citizenship with canada which means that you can be a citizen of pakistan and the citizen of Canada at the same time as well. You can have both passports. You can have the benefits of the Canadian passport and you can have the benefits of the other passport. For example, UK as well. So yes, you can have dual citizenship of Canada and UK. So maybe you can go and buy properties in, uh, in UK and in Canada as well. So of course, there are many benefits of having the dual citizenship as well but it depends on the other country as well okay now the last benefit that i'm going to talk about is working in us so if you're holding the canadian passport that means that you would not need to apply for h1b visa now many of you might know that there's a cap on the number of uh, h1b visas that can be issued in any year i think not more than 65,000 h1b visas can be issued in every year but there's no cap on the TN visa that you have to apply for working in US as a Canadian citizen, which means that unlike H-1B visa, there's no lottery system and getting the TN visa is a lot more easier. Of course, in this video, I'm not going to talk in detail about that particular visa, but yes, that is certainly one of the added benefits that you get with the Canadian citizenship. You can actually work easily in US as well. Okay guys, so that was all the information, all the benefits that I wanted to convey through this one new video. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. Please put your comments and feedbacks in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to click the subscribe button.